as an IT research organization, we can't just sit here in our laboratory and, and claim that we're doing work on healthcare. We really need to be out there with plans and with, pa with patients and with providers, understanding their environment and, and working on real problems with them. To address this, IBM is launching a new initiative that will focus its renowned research division on the transformation of healthcare, applying cutting edge science and technology like nanomedicine, massive scale analytics, and rapid DNA sequencing to help doctors, nurses, and insurance providers create a more evidence based approach to healthcare. IBM's role will be to do this via information, information management, information analysis, uh, building better computer systems to manage all this data, doing better mathematics to analyze it, and hopefully coming out with results-based medicine. IBM is also hiring medical doctors to work alongside its scientists to deliver practical solutions to doctors. I think IBM wanted me to join the staff as a physician uh, because they wanted first-hand experience out in the field. There's a real effort here to, to bridge the gap between what's theoretically possible and what is possible in the real world. It's hard for physicians to access relevant information because there's just so much of it and there's so many different formats that they need to adequately make a decision for a patient. They're faced with not only physician notes, potentially handwriting from other doctors, but also x-rays and EKGs that don't necessarily need to be interpreted. On one end of the spectrum, we use nanotechnology to try to find new ways to sequence DNA. We use computational biology to try to help discover new drugs and understand what genes do. Uh, on the other hand, we look at pilots for how to use pervasive technology to uh, monitor people who may be aging in place or may be living at home alone with a chronic disease. How do you use streaming analytics to monitor people in critical situations like premature infants in a neonatal intensive care unit? In China, we're working with uh, Guangdong Hospital of Traditional Chinese Medicine. And we're helping them to understand how to build an electronic medical record system and also how to semantically integrate ch traditional Chinese medicine with Western medicine. In Italy, we're working with a, an orthopedic institute to help them understand how to design a workflow for radiologists to look at medical images more efficiently. It's important to start assigning new business models that will attach value to the generation of evidence and consumption of evidence. There's a lot of science around data and data analysis which is emerging that allows us to look at data, especially clinical data about patients, and figure out things like what procedures and therapies provide the best outcomes. I wanted to be able to have impact on the most patients that were possible. Uh, initially when I practiced emergency medicine for 15 years, there were a lot of one-on-one -on -one relationships. But as I became a medical director and now in this role, I see myself as a physician for hundreds of thousands of patients, not for just one or two. Our healthcare and life sciences program across IBM Research is what I like to call dealing with everything from molecules to people on a global basis.